have you ever cooked with your dad well i guess not on today's video i'm going to be preparing a delicious meal with my dad i'm here out in the gardens to get some banana leaves that i'm going to be using i'm so so excited for this video let us see how it's going to go Papa has worked on the chicken. I'm going to be working on the food. And today we are going to be preparing steamed matoke, vegetable rice, and chicken. Matoke is a popular dish in Uganda and it's made from green bananas that are traditionally steamed and mashed. And it's usually served with various sauces like groundnut paste, peanut sauce, beans, meat stew, or chicken stew. So when preparing matoke, you have to prepare the basket in which you are going to place your matoke in. After that, you peel the green bananas using a knife or a vegetable peeler you cut off the tips of each banana and then make a hollow vertical cut along the skin use your hands or the knife to peel the skin away from the flesh and be careful so that the knife does not cut you but if the bananas are hard to peel you can first put them in a bowl of water to reduce all the stickiness and when you're done peeling you have to set aside 
the peeled bananas you can cover them to prevent them from turning brown besides rice matoke can be supplemented with other foodstuffs like sweet potatoes yams and cassava or posho posho is known as ugali by most east africans but in uganda we call it kaunga or posho that particular food or meal made from maize flour you can supplement matoke with that The next step is to cover our bananas very well within banana leaves. Usually, I place more banana leaves on top of the bananas before I cover with the bigger banana leaves. These small portions of banana leaves I used as the serving portions. When the bananas are ready, we usually use those small banana leaves for serving and we also cover them on top of the food of elders to prevent it from getting cold those ones right there the ones that i'm placing on our food and after confirming that everything is firm and all the bananas have been arranged properly i'm going to go ahead and tie them firmly using the banana fibers the reason as to why we prepare our matoke this way it's because the banana leaves add flavor to this whole meal and preparing food this way keeps our culture and traditions intact there is lots and lots of traditions surrounding banana leaves and banana fibers lots of proverbs actually so every time we use these uh things for preparing food we are reminded of who we are and what our roots are that's why i love preparing food the traditional way I place the previously sorted rice in this metallic pan that I'm tying on top of the bananas so that when I place everything on fire it gets ready at the same time and the only thing I'm going to be left with is preparing the chicken stew. The pan which is going to be used for steaming must be prepared as well and i poured a small amount of water into it about one to two cups that are going to generate the steam and when you're placing in that water you have to make sure that the water does not touch the bananas because if it does all the bananas are going to come out when they are very very soft and they will lose they will, they will lose their flavor After covering everything with banana leaves, we place the pot on the three stones and steam the matoke on low medium heat for about 30 minutes to one hour as we prepare our chicken stew.
if you have not yet subscribed to the channel please consider subscribing give the video a like and drop a comment to let me know what you think about today's beautiful video don't forget to share the video to a friend When the matoke is ready, it turns yellow, so I mashed it and served the food. I can say I really had a great time cooking with my African dad. It had never happened before, but I really had a good time having him with me in the kitchen. Thank you all for watching. If you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe, give the video a like, drop a comment to let me know what you think about today's video. Let us meet in another video. I love you all. Bye-bye.